So this video is to show you how you would take the video you have posted to YouTube, grab the SRT file, and then move it over to Facebook to be used as the annotations or the lower third closed captioning at Facebook. So I'm at YouTube in my channel, and I am going to go in here on the video that I want, click, come down to subtitles, You'll notice that it has automatically created one that's tagged automatic. I'm going to click it. Notice that it's grayed out over here. And because it's grayed out, it means it's not able to be edited, but I could scroll through and look and listen and see if there's any changes. If I have changes to make, I can click edit and it will give me the window here to be able to make the appropriate changes. Once I've made the appropriate changes into my file, I can come up here and choose Publish Edits. And you'll notice I now see that it was published and it has shown that the newest version is live, which is great. So now I'm going to choose that version. And over here under Actions, there's a drop-down and gives me the ability to uh, download the file as an SRT. And I now have the SRT file here on my computer. So I'm now going to go over to Facebook. So I'm at Facebook on my page and I'm going to upload the video that is connected to what I'm going to use this SRT file for. So I'm going to grab it here really quick. So while this is uploading, I'm going to put in the video title and any tags connected to it. Notice it keeps scrubbing along here in the background. And I'm going to come over here to the captions tag and I get the option to upload an SRT file and point to it then on my computer. And it's that one right there. So I'm going to open it. It does not like the file name. So you've got to make sure that you go in and rename it to match their formatting. Use the format filename.en underscore us. So while that's going, I will do that. Okay, so we will try this again. I have renamed my file, okay, to match their formatting. There we go, it's in English. Default language is English. All right, and once this hits the 100% mark, I can hit the Publish button. I want it distributed everywhere, no restrictions. I don't need any of this. It was not recorded 360. I don't have any other pages that I need to share it with. If you had multiple pages for your church, this would be a great way to do it. Okay. So I'm going to schedule the post to publish today, later on, hit schedule, and then when it's finished, it will go out. Something you might want to do after you have scheduled that post is come back into Facebook to your publishing tools come over to your videos, video library, and find the post that you want to show. If you click here, you're gonna go right back into the edit window where it will give you the option to add some other post content that you would like to include with the video. You also could change the thumbnail. If you like, you can scroll or add a custom something to be this cover image. Um, when you come in here, you see that everything is right, and I hit save, but here's what I can do. If I click here on the date, I see video performance, and I want to make sure that 
the SRT is working correctly for those closed captions. And the way to do that is I've got to start the video playing and come here down to settings, captions, and notice now my SRTs are in fact working so that I know I'm in good shape with that video. I can then close the window and know I'm good or create an additional post that would then show up in the timeline down here for you.